How's it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech. So with macOS Catalina, you can use your iPad as an external, as a secondary display to your Mac. And this new feature is called Sidecar. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the requirements you have to meet because there are actually quite a few and how to enable this awesome new feature. And even better, maybe if you don't meet all those requirements, what other alternatives you have to use your iPad as a secondary display. So don't worry, you're covered. So. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so let's begin and let's run through all the requirements we need to use Sidecar. So if you don't meet any of those criteria, any of those requirements, stay tuned because as I mentioned, there's an alternative method that works with everybody. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna cover that as well. So first of all, Sidecar. So uh, on the iPad, you're gonna need to be running iPad OS and on the Mac, you're gonna need to be running Mac OS Catalina, as I mentioned, okay? You have to be connected to Wi-Fi on the same network on both devices. You have to have Bluetooth turned on, on on both devices as well and you need to have both devices connected to the same Apple ID okay those are the first criteria the first requirements you have to meet okay guys but these are just the first requirements because we actually have hardware requirements for both of these they can't be old devices so let's go ahead and run through those as well uh, so um, this I'm pulling from the Apple support website uh, I'm gonna have a link in the description so you can have a look in detail so uh, we, it has to be a Mac. It has to be pretty much uh, from a computer from 2016 or later. So introduced in 2016 or later, uh, unless the Mac Mini and the Mac. Pro, which have to be have to be uh, 2018 or 2019 or later, respectively. So pretty much, if your computer is 2015 or later or, or earlier, if it's older than 2016, you're screwed. You can't use Sidecar. But again, I have an alternative method uh, for iPad. It has to be running iPad OS 13, as I mentioned, and it also has to be compatible with an Apple Pencil. This is how they separate it somehow. So iPad Pro all models, iPad sixth generation or later iPad mini fifth generation and iPad Air third generation so that's pretty much how it works okay so uh, as as soon as as long as you have all those requirements met you can use sidecar and how can you use it it's actually very simple all you have to do on your Mac right here see if you can find my cursor right there uh, you have to tap on airplay and then you're gonna see airplay uh, right here you're gonna see your iPad but why I can't see mine because my Mac is old this MacBook Pro is not from those like newer uh, 2016 or later, as I mentioned, this is like 2013, so it won't work. That's why I don't see it here. But if this was uh, ma uh, this MacBook was later, I meet all the criteria, so I would see under AirPlay, I would see Daniel's iPad Pro, and I would just tap on it, and then it would automatically turn my iPad into a secondary display. Since I don't have that, let's go to the secondary method because there's an app called Do It, and you can use the App, do it to, to do the exact same thing but we can use on any setup that you have this is the amazing part so let me show you how that works so how do we use do it so it's actually very very simple is a normal app so all you have to do is go to the App Store and then you're gonna look for do it display as you guys can see right there and then just go ahead and download it now that the download is finished we can just open it up and we can just open do it as you guys can see we can enable notifications and then next and then uh, we can just type our email, so just sign it up. And then we can hit OK for use Bluetooth. And then we are ready on the on the iPad. It's super simple setup, as you guys can see. Connect to Mac or PC. Uh, so just keep uh, and wait. Uh, the cool thing is that, as as you can see, you can use this with a Mac or PC. So not only for Mac, but since we're talking about Sidecar, so Mac, right? Uh, let's go ahead and open Safari now because we're gonna need to open to download Do It on the computer as well. Keep in mind, this is the only for the first part. After you do this, it's super cool, super easy, and super seamless. All right. So uh, go to doitdisplay.com. Also, keep in mind that this video is not sponsored or anything like that. This is a discovery I had. They are not sponsoring me to say that, okay? Uh, go ahead and hit uh, Mac OS because again, it has a version for Mac OS and for Windows, I have already downloaded it. So let's just cancel and we don't need that screen anymore. Let's just close it up. And then right here under downloads, I have do it. As you guys can see the little icon there, just open it up and then let's just see what we need. So open and then start and authorize and then put my passcode my password 
and then it's installing moving applications installing and finishing up let's just wait for a second and then just like that we're ready to use so got it and then as you guys can see, uh, we're gonna see open Duet in iOS. It's already open right there. So then it's asking me to connect my device to my Mac using the, the cable. This is only for the first time you can use it wire wired or wirelessly. So I'm just connected via cable. Okay, done, and as you can see, automatically, I just as I just connected, there you have it. I have my secondary screen right here, so uh, I can enable a touch bar, so I can enable or disable a touch bar. As you can see, there's a touch bar right there. And there's so many awesome features. I actually have a full in-depth review of this application here on the channel. And I'm gonna have a link in the description and on a card right there. I just wanted to show you that you can use Sidecar or very similar to Sidecar uh, very easily right here with any setup that you have you can have an alternative. So that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, I'm just showing you, it's, it's just not the screen, the, the wallpaper, of course, I can move it right there. As you guys can see, it works seamlessly, perfectly, and then I can open a web page, I can do whatever I want. And of course, it also works with a touch screen, so then I can just go ahead and scroll down, I can tap on things, and then it just works like your normal Mac OS, but uh, as a touch screen, so this is very, very cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like it, please make sure to go ahead and hit the like button down below also hit the comment box down below and the subscribe button i really appreciate it so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a couple days bye bye